Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. This message is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, so welcome back. Okay, to all returning viewers. And if you're new, welcome. I'm happy to have you, okay? All right, let's see what the message is for Sagittarius here. card that want to fall out. It don't want to stay there. I'm going to take it. Okay. I see stability trying to come in for y'all. Uh, some of you got an offer coming in. This is going to be a, actually a really good offer. A lot of you have been waiting for this for a while. Whatever it is, it's uh it's going to be built on a real firm foundation. It'll put you in a good place here. This is a this is a pretty good offer. That's why it takes a while to come because it's it was actually in the works for a while. So a lot of you there's something you've been waiting on, it's coming in. Okay, for I mean, this could be work related, but let's see what Let's see what else we got here. Mm. See, you are right now in the position to create for yourself here, guys. You're in the position to set yourself up really nice here with the magician. I'm going to keep going here. Yeah, this is about your money. You got the four of pentacles. I see a lot of you are actually going to be in a uh, position where you can start saving. A lot of you got some kind of abundance coming in. Uh, some of you have been working on this for a while. There's something you were worked on for a while. You're going to start uh seeing the rewards for all the efforts you've been putting in you you're gonna start seeing manifest here now we got the four of swords a lot of y'all don't see nobody else Okay, it's like you you just focused on yourself here. It's almost like some of y'all cut people out left and right. You're just doing you here. You removed anything that was not in line with what you see for yourself here. With this four of swords. Because all you... See, you're focused on your stability. You got two fours here. Four is about your foundation. You know, the home has the four walls. Your structure. And and I, I don't I don't I see I don't think you're gonna let nobody mess with you, with uh what you're trying to do for yourself here. I feel like you all are very focused on your craft here. Some of y'all are just focused on your money right now, focused on your status, your business here. This is This is um yep, you're working on something. Y'all working on something. You got all these pinnacles here. Whatever you're working on, it's going to put you in a position where you can start saving. A lot of y'all are about to um, create wealth for yourself. Sagittarius, please clarify this Eight of Pentacles. Empress, see? You're about to be abundant. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. See? 
This I like this reading. See y'all on y'all on some other stuff here. This is good, cause huh. This is about look. You finna set yourself up here. A lot of y'all are starting to see your worth with this empress. Hmm. Cause you realize whatever you touch, whatever you touch turns to gold. Look, I mean, universe is giving you all the tools that you need. You're being supported. This is good. Sagittarius. You got abundance coming in. You got abundance coming in. It took a while. A lot of y'all thought it would never get here. Oh, it's coming in now. Okay, now we got the page of swords. There's something you need to pay attention to the details. You know Mercury retrograde. It's coming up on the 31st of October. So, signing contracts, starting things, like new things, is not really supported under that energy. But with the Page of Swords here, there's a need to look at things closely here. I'm going to clarify that. Um, some of you could be dealing with somebody here. This is my Gemini card, but it could be any of the uh, air signs. So it's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone could be keeping a close eye on you here. Hmm. There could be gossip around you. All right, please clarify this page of swords. Oh, we got some cards that flipped over here. See? Y'all, look. Let me tell you something. You got two really good cards. Now, now the moon is just saying there's something that's hidden if this is a person, some of y'all don't either don't know that this person is, has their eye on you. There's someone in your environment. With a hidden agenda, I, I don't know. I Look, I'm not trying to plant negative seeds. So if that doesn't resonate, that's not for you. But there's something coming up here, something unknown it's uh pay attention to details okay so it doesn't have to be a person if it is just pay attention okay now as far as this is concerned it really it's really not going to mess with your vibe you got some really good cards here you got the six of wands okay victory i see you being recognized with whatever it is that you're working on you also have the star this is your wishes coming true I mean, you have a really good card. You got Magician, you got the Empress, the Star. The Moon is just things you don't know. But you, you're going to be victorious, okay? So let's see what else comes out here. Because this is a really good reading. I, I see uh, a lot of you, you're about to set yourself up here. Okay. Yes. All right. So some kind of romantic relationship that you're dealing with is showing up here. Guys, so just let just to let you know. Just to let you know that your personal uh shenanigans or activities, okay? Your personal activity is spilling into your career, into your business part of your life here. So a lot of you have a lot of you your romantic relationship is affecting how well you do in business. 
It's affecting your money, basically. See, this is the Gemini card, the lovers. And now we have the Two of Swords. Somebody keeping you, like, somebody's keeping you confused. Jeez, how we went from this to that. I don't know how we do that there. Please clarify this, lovers. The world. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. There's okay, a lot of you just ended a cycle with a lot of you just ended some kind of um relationship with someone. A lot of you just ended uh it could have been a very lustful relationship here with someone. You just ended it with the world. But it's affecting you in the sense where you still wonder what this person is doing. This person is still wondering what you're doing. Keep it, yeah, both y'all are keeping an eye on each other. A lot of you stay busy to keep your mind off of this. But I, I, I feel, because there's a moon in this card too. I, I feel like some of y'all are kind of waiting for, to hear from this person. Let me pull two more cards here. Yeah, a lot of y'all are waiting to hear from this person. Not sure if you want to move on or not. See? The Nine of Swords. Thinking all night about this person. It was at the bottom of the deck here. It was trying to come out and it flipped to the bottom of the deck. But a lot of you, your romantic relationship is messing with your money. It's messing with your stability, basically. It's messing with the abundance that's trying to come in. See, y'all on some other stuff here. This, mm -mm. You got to learn to separate. Look, when, when a relationship ends and it doesn't go the way you wanted it to, you, you, you really have to learn to detach yourself from your emotions for a while and start thinking practically because I see abundance trying to come in for you. And what some of y'all don't realize is that the reason you even attracted this, the only reason you attracted this relationship was so that you can start working on whatever this is the universe is trying to bring in that's going to make you abundant. Okay? A lot of you weren't doing it on your own accord. Okay? You weren't taking the hints when the universe was trying to get you to start this. You were not doing this on your own volition. So the universe was like, hey, I'm going to send someone in. This person is just supposed to spark something in you. To get you started working on whatever this is that they're trying to make you abundant here. You sit here as the empress on your throne. Okay? Whatever you're supposed to be working on is trying to put you where you're sitting pretty. Okay? Where you can afford to buy this house up here on top of this hill. Okay? Now, you weren't doing that. So... Universe sent someone in that can stir you up. When this person leaves, usually when someone's in a like a passionate relationship with someone, and then there's a separation here. Separation, four of swords. Okay? Uh, it, it is emotionally taxing. If the attachment is strong, yeah, it does something to you, right? But the best way to keep your keep your focus and to stop the overthinking is to stay busy. So if you're here, working on something will get your mind off of that. And then not only that, this will bring in a tangible... It'll bring in, you know, money for you. So you will get a reward from it. So it will become your new love. A lot of you attracted a relationship 
just so that you can start working on something and realize that this thing that you're working on is truly what you truly love. And then in no time, you'll find that you're not even uh, thinking about that person no more. You start feeling fulfilled from this project that you're working on. That was the purpose of this person coming in. I see this cycle is over with this person. Some of y'all are still wondering about this person with this page of war swords. Some of y'all are still watching this person, this person watching y'all. Like, there's this cord of attachment here because of this strong magnetic bond here. Even though you confuse you all in your head here. Not even seeing that the universe is trying to give you a victory. Make all your dreams come true. Have you sitting pretty where you're very abundant here. And you're over here. You're over here. Stressed out. Crying. Like a hot mess. When the only reason this thing even came into your life. Or this person even came into your life. Was to get you to start working on something. You are the magician. You have the power of manifestation. You can create for yourself here. You better take advantage of this. Okay, Sagittarius. Let me see what the last card is. See? You can't make this stuff up, man. You can't. You can't. You're going to be victorious in this. Whatever whatever this project is. You're going to be victorious. You got this card again. Six of Wands. Six of Wands again. I see. I see something trying to happen for you. Something's trying to happen. Something's trying to happen, but you, uh, y'all on some other stuff. Hey, if you can't, if you don't want it, nobody can want it for you. So, there's a need to focus. Like, you need to, uh, you need to direct your attention onto something that's going to actually make you feel fulfilled, not as it relates to someone else. But on your own here. The universe is trying to put you in a place where you are sitting pretty. Sagittarius. Victory is yours here. Okay. Victory is yours. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the extended. I'm not going to do Sagittarius through each sign. I'm just going to ask for more information on this here. Because I kind of want to know what this project is that you're working on. All right, let me yeah, let me just go ahead and get into the extended, see what comes up for you here. Okay, I truly hope that this was helpful. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. See? The victory card again. Yeah, you're going to be victorious in whatever this project is that you're working on. You have the victory card, the six of wands again. So it falls right below the ace of wands. Whatever this project is that you're working on, that you're being given the ability to create something brand new here. It's, it's going to give you a new beginning. It's going to give you a new beginning that you're going to be victorious in, Sagittarius.